Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple WordPress plugin. So you've probably seen some videos in the past of me and I've created a WordPress theme. You've probably taken my WordPress theme course. Now, a WordPress plugin is different to a theme, obviously. It allows you to plug and play functionality. Uh, and in this case, uh, it's a contact form. So this, what you're seeing on the screen now, very basic, I know, but it's actually driven by a short code. And that short code then grabs everything from a plugin which I've created. And I can easily disable that if I wanted to. So I'm just gonna go into the admin section and I'll go to the plugins area here. And you'll see that I have something called Simple Contact Form by Mr. Digital, which I created. So if I just deactivate that form, everything is going to disappear and you'll only see the contact form shortcode. Now I'll just re-enable that and I'll refresh it and I'll type in my details. And I'll hit send message. Now you'll see that it comes back with a confirmation. And then if we go into the back end of our WordPress site, you'll see that we have an inquiry section here, which we can click into. And there's a con contact inquiry here, which I can click on and see the information that I typed. Now, this is obviously a very, very straightforward plugin and you can al also always get this functionality from plugins that already exist. But so you can learn how plugins work, I thought this might be a good idea. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a blank WordPress installation on my local machine, and I'm also gonna be using a blank WordPress theme, which I created for this tutorial. However, it could be useful in starting projects from scratch on WordPress anyway, uh, and that will be available in the description below this video. So I suggest installing a blank WordPress and installing this theme so that it's very simple for you to follow. Um, and all I have is on the pages, I have one homepage, which is used as the homepage when you visit the website. So if we go to the homepage, you'll see it's just a blank page. And this is obviously where we're going to use a short code to show the form. So with that being said, what you need to do is go into your preferred code editor. In my case, it's Visual Studio Code. And as you can see in Visual Studio Code, I'm in the folder of the plugins folder within the WordPress installation. So if I go to open folder, you'll see that we have the main WordPress folder. If we go to WP content, you have themes and then you have plugins. Click into plugins, open that up, and let's create the folder for our plugin. So every single plugin in WordPress has a folder uh, which is placed into the plugins folder. And then that stores all the files for that specific plugin. So let's create one. In this case, I'm gonna call it simple hyphen contact, hyphen form. Now you might wanna call it something that is unique. So make sure, if you, if you plan on eventually putting this on uh, for, as a downloadable WordPress plugin from the WordPress website, you might want to make sure that it's not being used already. But right now this, this plugin is gonna be just used locally uh, and used on websites that I want to use it on and not available for mass download. So once we go into that folder, Let's create a couple of things. Firstly, for security purposes, we don't want people to be able to access, or hackers or whatever, to access this folder by just simply visiting in the browser. So if I go here and let's type in WP content plugins, simple contact form, as you can see, it's accessible. We don't want that to happen. We just want someone to come to a page which basically sees nothing. So to do that, and the first line of protection for your plugin, you just create a file within your simple contact form folder. Just call it index.php. As you know, index.php is the first file that loads if someone visits a specific folder. And we'll open up the PHP tags and we'll just put nothing oops, to see here. And once we do that, refresh, you'll see it comes to a blank page. And if we view the source, there's nothing there either. And that's literally the first line of defense for your plugin. Now, the standard for any plugin, for the main entry point of that plugin would be to create the a PHP file with the same name as the folder that you're using. So let's create a new file and we'll call it simple-contact-form.php. 
Now this would be the entry point for WordPress. When it loads up the plugin, it grabs all of the logic from here. Now, like a theme, if you've done my theme development series, you have to put a theme name, a description, an author, etc., And that comes up when you're installing the theme and when you have it installed. So let's open up the brackets, the PHP, uh, sorry, the PHP code. And we're going to do a few uh, comment. So we'll open up a comment forward slash with two asterisks and Visual Studio Code automatically kind of closes it off. So it's supposed to be like this. We're going to do plugin name and I'm going to call it the simple contact form. We'll give it a description and this will be simple contact form tutorial. We'll give it an author. In my case, it's Mr. Digital. I'll put my website, which will be author URI. We'll just do HTTPS, mrdigital.com.au. Uh, and then we'll give it a version. So I'll just do version 1.0.0. And we'll also give it a text domain. So a text domain is a way that WordPress, we're going to call it, sorry, simple contact form exactly the same way as we put the folder. A text domain is a unique identifier for your plugin. Now, if you use translations, if you know what translations are, we, uh, basically the text domain is the unique identifier for that translation so that if you store translations in WordPress, it knows that those translations uh, are relevant to this specific plugin. If you're not sure what translations are, it's just a way for your WordPress site or your plugin or your theme to be multilingual. We might not be covering that in this tutorial, but I might in a couple of videos later down the track might be able to explain that a bit more and show you uh, translations in action. So now we have our uh, description of our plugin. So WordPress should really know that that plugin exists now. So let's save it and let's go into our WordPress dashboard and we'll go to plugins. And as you can see, simple contact form is the name. That's the description. That's the version and that's the, the author and I can activate it and it's activated fine, but really the plugin does nothing. So let's see what we can do in the next video to actually make this plugin do something.